one of the websites or apps that has reached 1 million users within five days is ChatGPT. This was released just a week ago by Elon Musk. Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, my goal set at this video is to give you some ideas on the different ways that you can use AI, or in this case, the app called ChatGPT, as a virtual assistant. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leanne Laila Kaba. I've been working from home since I was 15 years old and now run my own virtual assistant company to XU. And I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, one of the websites or apps that has reached 1 million users within five days is ChatGPT. This was released just a week ago by Elon Musk and has been just one of the fastest ways that people are learning really well about what AI is or what artificial intelligence is. Now, if you've been living under a rock and you're not quite sure what is AI? What does it do? What is it chat GPT? Why is it above everything else? It is one of the closest things at the moment. There's a lot of other apps out there that you can also use, but it's one of the closest at the moment to what we imagine an AI can do. So if you've never come across an AI before, Imagine the chatbots that you've been interacting with, the ones when you come to customer support, when it comes to you messaging one of your favorite brands. You know how when you send a message, there are few already replies that you can send and then it gets frustrating when they get stuck on something over and over again and actually doesn't get you to where you want to be. That's an example of someone who made a chatbot. So a chatbot is just, that's just one part of it. The AI side of it is it basically scraped what I mean by script is it looked through all of the recent information that's out there on the internet as of 2021 and put it together into this basically now artificial intelligence chatbot. So it's a way for you to get information. It's a way for you to also test what the future is going to be like with AI. And honestly, as a virtual assistant, it's going to be one of the main tools that I foresee that you're going to be using in 2023. Now, this video will go through a list of 10 things that you can use with it. There's a ton more. I just want this to be a basic video that if you are right now looking at ChatGPT or looking at any AI chatbot that you know what they could be used for at work. If you want more videos like this, I am diving into this head first. So let me know in the comments what kind of videos you guys want me to do on ChatGPT or any AI kind of tool that you can use as a virtual assistant or for your business as well. First thing you probably want to do is to just sign up for ChatGPT. Super straightforward and simple. You just put in your name, password, verify it, and then you are in. Now again, these are the 10 things that you can use ChatGPT for. First one is writing emails. Sounds super simple, right? But if you imagine how many emails as a virtual assistant, you're probably writing for your client, that you are writing yourself for other people that you are helping manage for your client. This gives you such a boost on having it kind of quick and easy done there is going to be things that you have to double check because it's not perfect yet. It's working itself to become perfect. Basically, if you put in the chatbot of like, write me an email of saying no to this task or write me an email that my client doesn't want to attend this podcast or this interview politely, like adding even the word politely in there or professionally, it will change the voice or the tone of that email. Plus an AI is writing that email email. This will make you sound so much more professional. This will cut in half a lot of the time you're probably putting in when it comes to writing these emails. And you basically will start just creating your own template database of different types of emails to send. This is something that we're currently developing inside of 2XU where we're just literally collecting all the different types of emails that you can send out. And again, it just makes it so much easier easier as a virtual assistant to have a tool like this where it can write out in a clear and concise way the thing that you're trying to convey. The second way that you can use AI is to write out processes. So one of the things that I teach a lot on this channel is creating standard operating procedures is one of the biggest ways that you can bring value to your client. And what that looks like is actually writing down step by step how to do a certain process. However, this can be time consuming depending on what it is that you are doing. So so one of the things that I found really impressive playing around with ChatGPT is that it can write out processes for me. So for example, let's say I am trying to write out a process on hiring. 
I can just put in what is the process of hiring. It'll give me step-by-step -step process that it has grabbed information from different parts of the internet. And now I just have to edit it. I don't have to make it from scratch. I can add in the things that we're doing in 2XU that's different from all of the other hiring processes. It cuts a lot of my time because it's all just written out already. So if you say, you know, write me a step-by-step -step process on how to write blogs, we'll give you that. It's making it just a shortcut, honestly, when it comes to creating processes because again, you don't have to start from scratch. It can give you that step-by-step, -step, what it looks like. You can ask it to be more detailed like after it creates a process you don't even have to say hey just can you make this more detailed and it'll give you more information it is just amazing the ways that you can use this tool another really cool way that you can use this AI is writing out agreements and this is something that is empowering a lot of people because you can get a contract written or an agreement written really really fast especially if your client is dealing with a lot of something like this then you are able to write out like hey can you write out a rental agreement or it could be like hey can you write a non-disclosure agreement and then it gives you that template that you can then now just edit again don't have to start from scratch you don't have to look for so many examples that's available on the internet it just gives you that now i am going to give a disclaimer that when it comes to agreements or contracts or things like that you better still double check again it's not perfect but you can have your lawyer friend just look at it and it actually is a legit way and for me as a business owner for the last decade i can recognize nope it's checking off this it's checking off this it's saying that correctly now i get to edit this part so again it's not perfect but it's just another quick and easy way to just grab something you don't have to make it from scratch another cool thing that it can do is just to double check your writing let's say you created an email yourself you created a blog post you created a paragraph and you're not quite sure if it sounds right especially if English is not your first language you can just run it through the app you can say hey can you double check this or hey can you rewrite this to sound more professional and you just paste in the paragraph that you're wanting them to look at and it will rewrite it for you so you can double check that like I said earlier you can change the voice or the way that it will be conveyed to you so if you want it to be more professional if you want it to be funnier it can write or rewrite that for you and it's pretty freaking amazing and accurate. Another thing that this AI can do for you is to create content ideas. And honestly, for me, as a YouTuber, as someone who creates a ton of content every single week, I got blown away. I was just asking it, YouTube video ideas on how to become a virtual assistant, YouTube video ideas on how to hire a virtual assistant. And it kept giving me more and more ideas and you can ask it for more. You can say, can you give me 12 ideas on so-and-so? It will give you a lot of the things that you would spend hours, and I know this, you will spend hours just researching by yourself on Google. So it's pretty incredible in that way. What are the usually frequently asked questions about this topic? That's your content idea. Again, it makes it super easy to for you to not anymore have to dive into hours and hours of research to be able to just get content ideas. Another thing that you can use it for is then creating outlines. So let's say you have now your content idea. You can say, create a essay outline on this. Even use it, create a course outline for this. And it gave me a step-by-step -step process or just outline of what this could look like. Again, pretty freaking incredible. It looks like I'm very, very excited because I really am. It's one of my focus for 2XU in the next year is to really maximize this AI. So then we are just AI empowered, which would be totally freaking out of this world, futuristic world. And of course you can use those outlines. So for example, for me, I can use it for a script for this YouTube video. So I can use it as a script for a speech that I'm doing. So for you working with your client, you can do it in that same way of like, hey, can you create a script on this? Can you make an outline on this? Give that to your client, of course, again, please double check. Don't just rely on it as an AI. It can give you a pretty powerful shortcut versus you again, spending hours and hours on this one thing. Next thing that you can use it on is for creating summaries, especially for creating summaries on complicated information. So let's say you just want a summary of a book, it will give you a summary on that book. Let's say you want a summary to a transcript of a YouTube video that you just got or some other person's speech and you say, hey, can you summarize this here? Can you make this easier that a five grader can understand this? they will rewrite that so a kid can understand the summary. So it can be a tool for you to just be able to give your client a summary of a speech that they want you to look at. It could be you getting a summary of a book that you really like and having that in your notes. So again, it's just one of the ways that makes life so 
much easier and simpler that you don't have to dive into a bajillion other things to be able to get that summary. Another way that you can use this AI is creating questions. Now, what does that mean? So for when it comes to you being a virtual assistant, you might be interviewing people once in a while or your client might have a podcast or a YouTube channel where they're interviewing people. You can ask this chatbot to spout out questions you can ask. You can ask this chatbot to create a scorecard for you of like these are different things to check off if you are interviewing so and so they can create basically a checklist of questions to ask certain experts as you're getting something done it can just be a really good way for you to be able to know what to look out for again based on the information that it got from the internet in 2021 and of course a very basic way that a lot of people are using it but i would want you to try anyway is just ask it questions to get information so it could be asking question of like hey can you give me a history on this can can you give me the top 10 books for this kind of topic? It just, again, makes it easier for you and removes the need for Googling and diving into a lot of different pages because it already grabs all of that information for you. So as you're researching, as you're doing information deep dive, it gives you that summary already. Again, I always will reiterate this. Please double check the information yourself. It's not perfect yet. It's just based on the internet, which might mean there's going to be a lot of misinformation. So double check the information yourself, but at least it's already giving you momentum. Now, another way that you can use this AI is to create spreadsheet. Sounds crazy, but you can start having it create different things for you. And this is where AI becomes more and more interesting is as it interacts with other tools, again, makes your life so much easier. Just imagine saying, hey, can you go ahead and create a profit and loss summary based on this can you go ahead and create this spreadsheet based on this information you know you can use that for lead generation and in the future you can say hey can you use this to create this document hey can you use this information that i have here to organize it in a way that makes sense so again the possibilities so far of this ai is just huge we haven't really scraped the surface yet and this is again just the basic ones that you can do and i'll even give you a little bit of a bonus is that this ai can give you best practices on how things are done. So for example, for me, I would just go and put in best practices for email management and then spout out a YouTube video for you guys. I could say best practices for doing this and this, especially if it's a task or a project that I've never come across before. I could just spit it out on that of like best practices for blank and it will give me those best practices. And again, pretty freaking amazing. Now, if you guys like this video and want me to create more videos like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what kind of other content do you guys want to see? AI related, virtual assistant related, everything else related as I kind of nerd out and go into this a little bit deeper. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to run a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an awesome day and remember that small all steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!